Our topic is IP version 4 addressing and submitting. Four examples of IP addresses are written here. Example A, B, C and D. These IP addresses are in decimal form and this notation is called dotted decimal notation. IP version 4 address is consists of 32 bits which is divided into four parts. For example, first part over here, then second part, third part and fourth part. Each part is consists of 8 bits and called octet. Decimal address C, which is this one, is taken here and its first part is representing first octet. First part is representing first octet over here second part representing second octet and so on okay. so we saw in this slide that uh, ip addresses in decimal notation and in binary form as well because this value is the binary of 192 this value is the binary of 168 and so on and in the next slides we are going to learn how to convert a decimal number into binary and a binary number into decimal so binary to decimal conversion a binary number is written over here and we have to convert it into decimal how we started we will start in the decimal we will start here from okay we will start here from one and in the each subsequent box we will double the previous value so double of 1 is 2 double of 2 is 4 and then 8 and 16 then 32 64 and this is 128 now corresponding to 0 this value I have crossed it corresponding to 0 I have crossed this value corresponding to 0 I have crossed this value the values which are corresponding to 0 I have crossed and I will not calculate them in further calculation. So what I am going to do, I am going to add these values 128, 16, 8, 4 and 1. So 128 and 16 make 144, 144 and 8 more make 152, 152 and 4 more 156. 156 and 1, 157. So the given binary value with this one is equal to decimal 157. Now the second example. This binary number is given to us and we have to convert it into the decimal and the method will remain same. We start from 1 and in each subsequent box we will double the previous value. So the value is 1 and in the next box it is doubled then 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128 and we have to add all these values because there is no 0 so I will not cross any value 128 and 162 make total of 192 192 and 32 more makes 124 124 and 16 more 140 140 and um, 240 okay 240 and 240 and 8 248 248 and 4 252 252 and 2 254 and one more 255 so the given binary uh, value is equivalent to decimal 255 in this slide we have to convert decimal number into binary uh, decimal number 17 is given Okay, so again the values are given in the same way as given as well given on the previous slide 1 and then double 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and to make it to make 17 I should turn on this position and I should turn on this position and I should turn off all other positions. So this well, this is the this is the binary equivalent of decimal 17. Um, and then in the next one 195 this is the decimal number and i have to turn it convert it into binary 
so I will turn on this value 128 and let's see if I have to turn 64 on or off uh, 128 and 64 make 192 yes I can turn it on so 190, 128 and 64, 192, I need 3 more bits. So I will turn this on. So the remaining will be turned off. So this is the um, binary equivalent of decimal 195. Types of IP version 4 addresses. This IP version 4 can be broadly divided into two, uh, two categories, classful address and classless address. And classable address further can be divided into default subnet mask and subnet. Okay, and I'm moving to the next slide. IP version uh, for address classes. Look, we are talking the term classes, and classes are in this site. Class full addresses they are to be used, and the other bigger broad category is classless. Of course, there is no classes in this category. So from this branch, in this branch, we are working classful IP addresses. IP version 4 addresses have five classes, class A, B, C, D, and E. And if a if IP address, we will see first octet of IP address. If value of the first octet is in between 1 to 126, address will be from class A. If the first octet value uh, is from 128 to 191 address will be in class B if the first octet value is from 192 to 223 class address will be C if the first uh, octet value is from 224 to 239 address belong, will belong to class D and uh, these class D addresses are used for multicasting purposes and if the first octet value is from 240 to 254, address will belong to, to, to uh, class E and this class is used for research purpose. Okay, we know if the first octet has uh, this value, then it will class B and if this value class C. So let's do an example to understand this concept. For example, we have this IP address 100.100.100 dot um, 20 dot for example 20 okay so we have to check from which class it belongs so we will see first octet only okay it, where it lies is it in this range 1 to 126 yes it is in this range so this ip address belongs to class a okay another example for example our address is 185.65 dot 73 dot 24 okay we have to see from which class it belongs we will see the only the first octet where it lies 1 to 126 no it's not there 128 to 195 yes so this address belongs to class b i hope it is clear to you now In this slide, we are going to study parts of IP addresses. IP address has three parts, network part, subnet part, and host part. Network and host part are always there, while subnet part is optional. If address belongs to class A, network part will take 8 bits and host part will take 24 bits. So 8 and 24 all together 32 bits. If address belongs to class B, its network part will be 16 bits long and while host part will be 16 bits long. So 16 plus 16, 32. Class, if address belongs to class C, its network part will be 24 bits long and its host part will be 8 bit long. So 24 plus 8 make uh, 32 altogether. So these two parts, network and host part, in each class a b c have taken the 32 bits so from where the subnet part will come so if we are creating the third part that is optional we will take some bits from the host part and create this subnet part in our addresses network part will not be modified we will take some bits from the host part and create the subnet portion okay now we are going to study the default subnet mask where 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 the, it comes 
Look, IP version 4 addresses have two categories, classful and classless. In classful, uh, we we have to work on the default subnet mask and the other topic we, we have to do is subnetting. Okay, so for uh, right now we are we are going to see first category that is default subnet mask. Again, we have a, a, a classes, class A, B and C. And in this column, this, their range is written. If first octet is in from 1 to 126, class A. If first octet is 128 to 191, it's class B. And if uh, first octet is in uh, from 192 to 223, it is class C. And the important thing is class A default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. And uh, the second method that is prefix format of writing this default mask is slash 8. Okay. So uh, you have to remember it because over and over we are going to use this information. Class B. Uh, if an address is, belongs to class B, its default subnet mask will be 255.255.0.0 and in prefix form it will be written as slash 16. Class if address belongs to class C, its default subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and its prefix format will be slash 24. Okay. So we studied a classful category default subnet mask information we took and now we are going to see subnetting. Subnet mask. Uh, look over here one address is given to us 1.1.1.1. Okay uh, now um, which class does it belong? Uh, classes we have um, writing class A is 1 to 126 first octet should be in this range class b 128 to 191 first octet should be in this range class c 192 to 223 first octet should be in this range so look at this address first octet is this one in which range it is it is in class a Okay, so class A default subnet mask we have studied in the previous slide is 255.0.0.0 which is not there, which is not seen here. So of course subnet has been created, subnet has been created over here. Okay, and it is written 255.255.0.0 is written in the prefix format over here. And look at this uh, address from which class does it belong? It belongs to, yes, it belongs to class B over here so class b default subnet mask in the previous slide we studied it is 255.255.0.0 so it's not the same so yes over here subnetting is being done okay and this address okay uh, so it is yes it is from class c in class c we know that it's the its default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 which is not the same over here so yes, subnetting is done over here. So if you want to, to know if in, a, in, in some IP address subnetting is done or not, so its address information is not enough. You must need its subnet mask to check whether subnetting is being done over here or not. Some questions we will solve related to this. Again, I'm um, coming. Uh, we have IP version four addresses. We have saw classful IP address. Classful IP addresses are those uh, which have classes, so um, class A, B, and C, um, and they, it can be further divided into uh, into the into the category where we use default subnet mask, and the other category where we do subnetting. We have, we have uh, in the previous slides we have seen both cases. Okay. Uh, there we are going to do some uh, question and in question of what we have to do IP address and their subnet mask is given we have to tell their, their class and we have to determine whether the default subnet mask is used or the subnetted mask is used and then we have to get the network bits and subnet bits 46 yes it is clearly from class A so I wrote it and class A subnet mask in the previous slides we have studied 255.0.0.0 or slash 8. So it is correct subnet mask is so it is uh, having default mask. If it uh, address belongs to class A its network bits are 8. Okay. 
whether the default mask is used or subnetting is done, uh, uh, network bits remain the same. Okay? And after the network bits, there is uh, uh, no subnetting done. If the subnetting is being done from the subnet mask, we can figure it out. It is telling us there is no subnetting, so subnet bits are zero. Okay. okay. The next one is 192. 192 is coming in class C. Okay. And class C, we know default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. It means slash 24. Over here, slash 24 is not given. Okay. Uh, rather slash 26 so subnetting is done over here subnetted it is subnetted mask okay network bits of class c are 24 okay so after 24 how many extra 25 and 26 two extra bits are taken so this is the subnet part over here okay and uh, some and then we have 185 which class does it belong it also belongs to class it be belongs to class b and cla and its subnet mask is given slash 20 default subnet mask is 255.255.0.0 it means slash 16 it is not the default one it's slash 20 okay so it is uh, it is also subnetted it's not default it's not using default mask uh, so a uh, network bit in uh, class B 16 which will not change after 16 we have extra bits so uh, extra bits 17 18 19 20 so four bits are the subnet bits over here so yes in this in this um, uh, address subnetting is being done okay 